Um, today I'm gonna make this very random video that I just thought of making it out of nowhere again. This was not planned in any way, shape, or form. So if I sound like I am, like, all over the place, it's because I am very all over the place. <laughs> so just, just keep that in mind. But if you like Miyano Mamoru, or want to know a little bit more about him, I suggest you keep on watching. Hey there, my name is Daisy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, hi. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. A very long, very long time. I didn't die as you can tell. <laughs> I am back. I'm not dead. I didn't die and came back from the dead. No, I've been alive all this time. So don't worry. Everything's fine. I just uh, didn't really feel like making videos until, yeah, today. <laughs> so I'm just being brutally honest right now. So, so yeah, I haven't really made been making any videos mostly because I have been uh, a little bit more focused on my schoolwork that I have to do also one of the reasons why um so i'm sorry for taking so long for coming back but i'm back so that's all that matters all right <laughs> so you know like i said uh, this video is really spontaneous really out of nowhere um i don't know i was just on youtube doing nothing watching some videos um and uh i found something interesting that is uh, about miyano mamoru yeah <laughs> so if you don't really know who miyano mamoru is um who are you this is a weeb channel. How do you not know about this man? Uh, we need to talk. So, Miyano Mamoru, who is him? Uh, this man is an entertainer, uh, but he's very well known, mostly uh, well known, because of his amazing voice acting work, mainly in anime and even animation films. Um, yeah, but mainly anime. So, you probably heard him in a lot of animes too, if you watch anime, of course. You probably heard him in a lot of places. Mainly, uh, he's well known for Rin and Freak. He's really well known too for voicing Tsukiyama in Tokyo Ghoul. Um, <laughs> he also voiced Obake Rintaro in Stain's Gate. And, um, you know, he's basically everywhere. He's a very important person. He's considered to be a complete and total pro, and he also agrees with it. <laughs> So yeah, you might know him from there, but there's something that I need to tell you. Because this man, apart from being a voice actor, apart from being a normal like actor, uh, and even giving voice to and uh, to characters from like movies, like Disney movies too, and normal movies, uh, just the dub version of it, this man is also a full-on entertainer when it comes to the uh, music. Because this man is an idol. <laughs> I was just going through YouTube and I was watching some videos about him, right? I somehow find, found out about his channel uh, because this man has a YouTube channel. And in, in this beautiful, 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 beautiful YouTube channel, you, there's a lot of a type of content, uh, like funny com content, him just uh, talking about, uh, I don't know, a brand, um, you know, <laughs> normal stuff. There's also some videos of him exercising so he, uh, that you can follow at home. So maybe I will use them from that one. We don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Uh, only time can tell. <laughs> and, you know, like I said, this man is an entertainer. This man is an idol. This man has a lot of songs that he sings on. This man has a lot of albums in Spotify. Um, you can check them out. Just type in Miyano Mamoru. You can, you can find them. This man is a whole ass entertainer. And uh, in this YouTube channel, he has some clips from his concerts and may i say that his concerts are they fascinate me because <laughs> because i was watching some of the clips because i want first of all i wanted to like listen to the kind of music he sings and all that um the kind of songs and music that he makes um because i didn't know about it so i was just well, i was listening to it um yeah and you know during this performance, this man, like I said, is an idol, so this man both sings, like, performs, like, no, performs, and also dances. Um, so, the thing that I noticed from all the videos that I, that I seen is that these concerts are literally not, these concerts are not about the music. 
at all. It has nothing to do with the songs. Yes, he's singing and dancing, giving a full-on performance with his backing dancers and all that. These concerts are not focused on that. <laughs> This man is an entertainer. This man knows what he's doing. This man and everyone that works on these concerts and works with him, they know what's up, they know what the people want. So you go to these concerts not to enjoy the songs, just to enjoy the beautiful performance that this man is giving you. And when I talk about entertainer, pu pure entertainment, I'm not only talking about the dance and performances and whatever choreography, no, I'm talking about little skits that they put in the middle of the concert. They always start up with a skit that make people laugh their ass off because this man is funny as fuck, just letting you know. <laughs> and they just... That's his brand. It's just the entertainment of it. It's not about the song, it's not about the music, it's not about... It. No, it's about the entertainment. The most entertainment you can get from this man. That's what he's giving you, alright? It's not the songs, nothing, it has nothing to do with it. And why do I say this? Because anyone that would look at it, they would say, they would see that. Not only that, but this is Japan, honey. The home of fucking fan service, man. So like, like I said, this is not about the songs, this is not about the music. This is just about pure, pure form of entertainment, alright? It's just, I don't know. For me, that's so mind-blowing and that's so funny to me. It's just... I don't know, man. <laughs> I think that going to a concert, to one of his concerts, would be a full-on new experience when it comes to concerts, because I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, it's just so entertaining. It's entertainment, pure entertainment. I don't know. Of course, that is, she sings very well, too. Of course, it's not my type of song ever. I don't really listen to that type of music, but I can tell this man has talent, all right? But it's not my type of music. I only like, like, around two to three songs of his, I guess, eh, something like that. But I can tell you that if I ever get to go to a, one of his concerts, I, I, I just, I'm there for the entertainment. I don't care about anything else. I'm gonna jump up and down. I don't, I don't care if I don't even like the song. It's just, it's full of energy. Um, and I find that to be a genius move. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I, I find that just to be very captivating. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. This doesn't even make any sense. I just think that whoever is working behind the curtains on this kind of thing is just the smart, the big brain over 9,000 kind of thing, power brain, powerhouse, whatever you want to call it. Is, uh, I think it's very smart. Um, <sighs> yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Like I said, it's... This video is really out of nowhere. I'm just not organized at all. I don't even have notes. Normally I take notes before making a video. Um, I don't even have that. <laughs> it's just pure on my thoughts on something um, that I wanted to share. To share, not share. Share. This is not a share. Share. I'm sorry. My English stops working properly sometimes. <laughs> Vienna Mamoru. A fucking entertainer. That's all I'm gonna say. This man does everything. This man has a chaotic energy all over the place. This man does not know how to chill. This man maybe needs to stop drinking coffee. I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. I just... I don't know. <laughs> Nonetheless, love his work. She's really good at it. He is a pro. I will forever agree with that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> so yeah, if you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell because every time you ring a bell, a notification will pop up that I made a video. And then, like, you click the notification and then whoosh, my video is on your screen. Kind of crazy if you ask me because, you know, this type of technology is evolving very fast and I'm like shook. So, you know, it's interesting. <laughs> I hope you like this video and I hope to see you in the next one that I ever make. Uh, so. Bye-bye. <laughs>say that even the songs that I don't really like they are very catchy too like I never I never really mentioned that but they are so catchy I don't know why it's just mind-blowing it's mind-blowing I don't know <laughs> it's just it's genius kind of shit I, I don't know I don't know how this man does it it's just I don't know actually if you want a song to listen to just one song there's one that's called follow me 
Follow Me Now uh, by him. Great song to start off with. Um, go ahead, listen to it. Give me your thoughts. Because uh, I want to know. <laughs> All right. Peace out. I'm tired. <laughs> Bye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely out.